Let me commend with the name of Almighty Allah, who is the most beneficent, merciful. Peace be upon our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Auzu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahi r-Rahman r-Rahim. Wa ma arsalna ka ila rahmatin lil alamin. Sadaq Allah al-Azim. Honorable Sadio, Chief Guests, Teachers, and my dear fellow listeners, I welcome you all with the Islamic greeting. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. George S. Bernard Shaw said about Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, He must be called the Savior of humanity. I believe that if a man like him aware to assume the dictation of the modern world, the, he would be succeed in solving its problems in a way that would be aid much needed peace and happiness. Today I will deliver topic on Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam as rahmatulil alamin. Rahmatulil alamin, mercy to all, is a phrase started in the Noble Quran. And we have not said, O oh Muhammad, except as a mercy to the world. Surah 21, verse 107. The verse describes the purpose of Prophet Muhammad's prophethood, peace be upon him, whose birthday is remembered on 12th day of the third month in the Muslim history calendar, Rabiul Awal. The verse describes Muhammad's prophethood as a messenger who brings mercy, compassion, and benevolence to all peoples and to the whole universe. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, has brought with him a way of life which provides fundamentals for humans to develop a complete system of life. Muhammad وسلم, is a messenger who has brought mercy and compassion to people and the whole universe, an attribute described by Allah as Rahmatulil Alameen, mercy to all. The attribute could be manifested as a principle which must be emulated by all Muslims, that is to render, show and redact mercy to all. Rahmatulil Alameen, hence, could be understood as a set of principles which must promote universally love and compassion among mankind as well as all God's creatures. This under